After impression making of the prepared teeth, the dyes are fabricated in the laboratory in order to define the margin lines so that the frameworks can be prepared accordingly. The main problem here is to correctly locate the proximal contact point since the gingival information is lost during cast preparation. In most cases, black triangles and restorations causing excessive pressure on the gingiva at the interdental papillae region are faced due to wrong localization. As a solution, two different casts can be prepared from the same impression. A working cast with dyes for the frameworks and another intact cast for aligning the gingival emergence profiles. By this way, proximal contact point and papillae relationship can be observed during ceramic buildup. The frameworks that were fabricated on the first working cast may not be seated properly on the second cast. However, the contact point may still be determined by measuring the incisal edge and papilla peak distance. Since the interdental papillae lack support after preparation, it may deform under pressure if present during impression making, misleading to correct positioning of the proximal contacts. For this purpose, we should pay attention to obtain impressions with minimal pressure by light body impression materials. Hydrophilic ATAP silicones or polyether impression materials can be preferred.